Hey, this is Kevin Ward with MixCoach.com, and today I want to show you method two of eliminating a plosive from a microphone. On the last video, we changed it by the cut and fade method, and now I'm going to show you how to actually EQ the plosive out of a microphone. What we want to do is grab the whole word that the plosive happened on. Uh, I'll, I'll let you hear first what we're what we're dealing with here. There's a P pop or a plosive right here on the word pocket. Sure pocket, sure pocket. And you may or may not be able to hear it depending on the kind of speakers you're listening on. Headphones, you'll almost definitely hear them and something with a subwoofer, you'll almost hear it even more. You want to be careful not to let any plosive slip through because it's one of the indicators of someone who's not really paying a lot of attention to uh, mic placement and EQ and things like that. I'm going to show you, I'm going to coach you through how to eliminate that attention from your mixing skills. Okay, method number two, we're going to actually EQ. So you, sure heard, pocket. you heard exactly that she has a plosive on pocket. What I'm going to do is grab the whole word sharp pocket. I'm going to grab the word pocket. We're going to go up here to the audio suite, EQ. I'm going to grab an EQ with a high pass filter on it. Uh, one that everyone gets with Pro Tools is the EQ3 7 band. I'm going to select it. I'm going to turn on the high pass filter. I'm going to make it a pretty steep little shelf there so it drops off drastically. And I'm going to push it up to around uh, 50 or so hertz. And if you'll listen, I'll hit preview, and you'll listen to pocket. Pa, pa, pa. You'll notice that no P happened. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to let you hear it without the filter on it. I'm going to turn this off. Pa, pa. Now you hear the P happen on pocket. I'm going to turn it on. Pa. Let's filter it a little bit more and listen. Pa, pa, pa. Pa, 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 Okay, so now uh, now that I've got it set, I'm just going to hit process and watch this watch this waveform disappear. Okay, it really changed. So now that's corrected. The P on pocket is corrected, but this is filtered too. Now, depend depending on how much of a purist you are, you can either leave it just the way it is; it'll sound fine, or you can pull back un here to the unaffected pocket or without the P and then just crossfade that and what you'll have is the best of both worlds I'll let you listen to sharp pocket knife one more time sharp pocket sharp pocket now there's another plosive right there which we didn't work but this plosive is correct stay tuned for the next video I'm going to show you the third and the most useful method the one that I would use or I will use in just a few minutes when I mix this song if you'd like dozens more mixing resources, categorized tutorials, and even more in-depth how-to videos, be sure you go to MixCoach.com and check it out, okay? Thanks for watching.